Over 50% of our traffic fatalities are associated with roadway departure crashes. That's over 18,000 people annually in the U.S. We know that horizontal curves are overrepresented in the data. So, what can we, as transportation professionals, do to reduce the number of crashes and horizontal curves? Research tells us that signage plays a role in reducing roadway departure crashes. Signage requirements are established by the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices, or MUTCD. In fact, the current MUTCD includes new criteria for horizontal alignment signage with a compliance date of December 31, 2019. These new rules apply to all our roadways that are functionally classified as arterials or collectors with traffic volumes of 1,000 vehicles per day or more. So, what are the current requirements for signage on horizontal curves? The simple answer is, if the advisory speed is less than the posted speed limit, signage might be necessary. Determining specific roadway segments that might need signage requires a field review. For an example of this process, we joined Lee County engineer Justin Hardy as he looked at a roadway segment that might need additional signage. The roadway that Justin has selected is a major collector with a traffic volume of 1,030 vehicles per day. The geometry of the roadway seemed like it might require additional signage. So what is needed to get started? Two pieces of data are required, the posted speed limit and the advisory speed. In the case of our example, the posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour. The second piece of data, the advisory speed, requires a ball bank indicator. An electronic ball bank indicator is an inclinometer that measures how out of plumb a vehicle is as it rounds a curve. The indicator is usually mounted in a vehicle and provides a reading as the vehicle travels the roadway segment. Common practice is to make at least three passes in each direction. In the Lee County case, our readings traveling at 45 miles per hour, our posted speed limit, were recorded first. Using the higher value of the two directions, we obtained an average of 12.8 degrees. We will need the MUTCD Section 2C.08 Advisory Speed Plaque as a reference. Based on the criteria, we can see our electronic ball bank indicator reading exceeded the 12 degrees recommended for speeds 35 miles per hour and higher. Therefore, 45 miles per hour is not the advisory speed. So, next we traveled the segment at 40 miles per hour. Using the higher value of the two directions, we obtained an average of 10.5 degrees. We reference section 2C.08 again, and based on the criteria, we can see our reading at 40 miles per hour did not exceed the 12 degrees recommended. Therefore, our advisory speed is 40 miles per hour. Now we have the two pieces of data needed to determine our signage needs, the posted speed limit, 45 miles per hour in our case, and the advisory speed of 40 miles per hour, yielding a difference of five miles per hour. Based on table 2C-5 in the MUTCD, which outlines horizontal alignment sign selection, we can determine if signage is required, recommended, or optional. In our case, additional signage is recommended but not required. Chevron placement is optional. So now Justin has a decision to make. Here is the layout under consideration if he decides to install the additional signage. The layout includes one sign assembly on each approach to the curve with a curve warning sign, W1-2, and an advisory speed plaque, W13-1P, for 40 miles per hour. Even though this segment has no significant crash history and relatively lower traffic volumes, in the end, Justin decided to install all the additional recommended signage. This is a look at the roadway section after the signage was installed. Thank you to Lee County Engineer Justin Hardy for allowing us to ride along for his field review. If you have roadways classified as arterials or collectors with traffic volumes of 1,000 vehicles per day or more, and advisory speeds less than the posted speed limit, a signage review might be necessary. Remember, the current MUTCD criteria for horizontal alignment signage has a compliance date of December 2019. If you would like more information about horizontal alignment signage, 
visit Federal Highway Administration's MUTCD website.